Hi guys, welcome back for another video. So what I'll be sharing to you now is the features of a palette knife. So I got myself a set of palette knives. I was able to buy it from National Bookstore and it cost around 800 pesos. And then um, it has six pieces, different sizes, and two types of palette knives. And what's nice about this is that it has zipper travel wallet so you can bring this wherever you want to go not necessary naman talaga to buy a lot only that wala kasi buy piece na available so this is what i got so these are the palette knives look it's so beautiful i can't wait to use them and uh, what i like about this uh, set is that it has its own wallet so, if you want to go somewhere else and you want to bring your art materials with you, you can just, you know, simply uh, zip it. And that's it. It's very light. It's very handy. It's just so cute. So, this is what I do when I don't have work. I do my research. Uh, it's one way for me to be able to enhance myself. And paano na din alam ko kung ano talaga yung sinishare ko sa inyo. So, this is a palette knife. And like a brush, a brush has seven uh, structures. For a palette knife, it only has three. Uh, one is the handle, which is uh, varnished wood. The next one is the offsetted metal. It's right here. And the third one is the, a plain sheet of metal here where you put your paint and you can scrape it on your canvas. This plain sheet of metal is where you put your paint and then scrape it on your canvas. So this part of the, the palette knife is bendable there. So you can uh, use it for techniques on your piece. A palette knife has different sizes. So for this one, its size is number 6. You can also see the brand here, it's Montmartre. But I guess it, the size of the palette knife depends on its manufacturer. It's just like brush, the brushes. So uh, we also have number four here. We have number one here. Number three. So we're done with the structures. Now let's talk about its type. So a palette knife has two types. First one is this. It's made out of last metal. I'm sorry, it's made out of metal. There. So Yung isa naman is made out of plastic. There. Disclaimer lang, hindi siya uh, yung plastic palette knife. It is a uh, plastic knife. So I just bend it over para uh, makita nyo how it looks like. But it, it looks the same actually. So you can see on the screen a sample. So there, you plastic knives, uh, plastic palette knives also has different sizes as well. Done with the structures, the types. Now the naman tayo sa shapes. So for a palette knife, it has different shapes. So for this one, it's a rounded type of uh, palette knife. We also have a smaller uh, version of it, pero mas narrow siya on this part, no, this side. And then we have the triangular uh, shape there. And uh, 
what else? Yeah, this is another rounded uh, shape of a palette knife. We have the narrow ones. This uh, triangular on the side, but uh, it's pointed na here. Narrow, a very narrow pala here. So a palette knife has a lot of different shapes. Only that my hair can have this in it. What I share with you are the only ones that I have. For its functionality, konti pala yun na lalaman ko. Pero, I did my research on it. But siguro, I need a lot of practice talaga. So, I have here two paints. Blue and yellow. So, isa sa functionan palette knife is for mixing colors so let's get one so nabasa ko sa articles na if you want to mix uh, quite a lot of paints use palette knives rather than a brush because when you use brushes when mixing colors Nasisira daw yung bristles ng uh, brush. So, yan. Mixing of colors. Another function of a palette knife is a uh, pwede siyang scraper ng mga uh, dried paints on your palettes. For example, uh, just like this. So this one is natuyo na siya. Nagamit ko na siya before. Wait, I just not there. Oops. I just lang natin ang contact guys. So there. So yeah, we can scrape off the dried uh, paints. There. So for this part, I'll be showing to you how to use a palette knife. So thank God I was able to look for a video where it shows there how to uh, start using your palette knives. So I hope that this will help you as much as it helped me just need to make uh, a lot of practices so the first step is you need to uh, pick up a paint at the back of your palette knife so yeah let's try the red one but it's not actually red so and then the next step if you apply ka na ng paint on your canvas sheet or on your canvas, uh, hawakan mo lang siya or uh, ng naka angle na 45 degrees and then pull it towards you. So, there. Kasi na notice ko ang tendency pagka nakas naka flat lang talaga siya. No angle at all. Uh, pupunta sa edge. Uh, Mag-scrape siya ng color. Yet, yung ibang paint is pupunta siya sa there. Sa edge ng paint mo. So, hindi mo naman siya pwedeng gamitin like that. Okay, so yung proper way niya talaga is yung back part of the palette knife. Get the blue one in mind. And then I will move up again. 45 degrees. And then pull it towards you. There.
strokes naman guys. So, hindi lang um, brushes yung my strokes. Uh, palette knives din. So, there are, based on research ko, there are uh, two types of strokes using a palette knife. One is the longer stroke. So, let's see for example like this. And the, lo the longer strokes is like this. That one. So for the second one, the shorter stroke is just like this. So let's get uh, a black one. And then the shaft. There. So you see the difference? The longer stroke, I mean the longer stroke and the shorter stroke. When using a palette knife, uh, there are three things or three basic things you need to remember uh, for its uh, use. So, madami siya when you search on the internet, but uh, these are the three basic things na lagig na mention. So the first one is the lines. For you to be able to make a line, uh, then, uh, touch mo lang yung edge ng uh, palette knife mo. The, the side of your palette knife on the paint. And then just uh, use the side to, to make a line, just like this. You can make a line like this as well. Uh, okay. And then, then lagin lang natin ng uh, line. Parang ruler. Zoom natin so you can see it clearly. There. So, what I like about it is that when you make a line, straight talaga siya. Unless you wanna create uh, curves. Why did you mind? There. For the lines, it mostly used for furniture or building. So what I did here is I put it on the right there. So the next one is a broken color. Sorry na low but yung camera so I have to use the phone. So on broken colors you can apply paints uh, layer by layer without even uh, destroying uh, the colors already on your canvas. So, hindi siya possible with a brush kasi for sure, yung brush will scrape off talaga siya na may mixing color. For this one, uh, try not it up. Uh, let's see, for example, this. So, you see, hindi pa din nawala yung color on this side. See the green and the yellow, but my layer na siya on top of it, the red. So hindi siya nagalaw. The next one is the texture. So I already made one earlier, so we'll just do it again. going to scrape it in circle so let's see what will happen next so there and then just 
straight like in circle. Yeah, so there we can see here um, just like this one, yung heavy color ng paint is on this side, so the inside part. Niya. But then uh, on the outside, the game broken na yung color niya. And uh, it also has the effect niya because of the canvas sheet that we use. It was hovering smoothly, but then if you're going to use a canvas sheet, Magiiba din yung uh, result ng texture depends on what type of canvas you are using. We can also do this depends on pressure and in insert mo when you use the palette knife. So as you can see, there are parts na uh, makapal yung paint and there are parts where uh, manipis na din yung shade ng paint. By the way, if you want to use one palette knife lang for all the colors that you like, tapos, uh, there are paints left at the back of your palette knife. Like, what you do is wipe it lang on a t-shirt or a wet cloth and then you can try another color na. When cleaning your palette knife, uh, so paganito na yung right after using it guys, uh, wipe mo siya sa paper towel or you can get uh, yung tela na basa and you just wipe it and then you can wash it like after using it so there it's clean na so much for watching i hope you like it and if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more updates thank you